good evening. <laughs> Happy 4th of July to my American friends. This is Leslie Billet Plazic, also known as Zazu Plaz, author of The Audacious Adventures of Zazu Plaz, part time superhero, full time mom. You might be able to hear in the background there's some fireworks going on. It's about 9 o'clock on July 4th, 2020. Be you stay amazing. And uh, that's what I'm going to talk about today. My memories of July 4th growing up. I think there's somebody outside the door. So, in the book, I mention in a chapter called as I sow, so shall I reap. reap. Wait a minute. There's, that's a mistake. I just found a mistake in my book. It's weep. So shall I weep. Oh, man. i got to fix that. Oh, anyway. I just found a mistake in my book. I'll have to take care of that later. So in that chapter, I talk about how I am sewing challenged. I say, talk about uh, how my husband is the tailor in the family. And he's the one who's adept at using the sewing machine sewing on scout badges and so forth um, because I tend to lose patience and start swearing which I go into much detail about in that chapter I'm going to have to correct that mistake so but I do say one of the things I did as a child um, oh no it's coming out apart look at that it's coming unraveled I'm going to have to fix that this is my bicentennial 1976 afghan that I made when I was a little girl. I was about nine years old. See? See my little... Oh, that's the back part. See the little stitches? See? I sewed this uh, one square at a time. So I sew... I remember sewing all the red squares. Knitting, not sewing. I knitted each square individually, see? All the red, white, and blue. And I remember doing this with my little knitting needles. My grandmother taught me how to knit, or my mom, or both, because Granny was an expert seamstress and crochet, or knitter, all that stuff. So this is one of the things I'm most proud of. So for the, uh, big bicentennial celebration that year that I turned 10. Uh, wait, no, I was 10. I was going to be 11. So I was 10. And I sat in our den, which my mother had decorated. We had a blue love seat. We had red, white, and blue checked curtains on the windows. And we had a red shag carpet that Every week or so, I got to rake. <laughs> Anybody who grew up in the 70s, you can relate. We had a neon green rake, and I used to have to do that. Sometimes while watching Scooby-Doo, I'd rake. You know? And all the, little, all the little carpet fibers would you know, get fluffed back up. Anyway, so it got me thinking, you know, lately, that this afghan wasn't made in one afternoon. It consisted of many little single stitches, which then had to be sewed together and knit together, see? With very single, tiny stitches. 
So this whole thing probably took me a long time. But see? See how cool it is when you look at it all at once? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I probably should have used different color thread here, but I used red color, red thread to bind the whole thing together. And it's quite big. My mother kept it in her cedar or closet. It smells like mom's house. <laughs> but anyway, I keep it in a special bin and I take it out every now and then. But it, but it made me think about, it's kind of like our country, right? USA. Um, look at all the different colors, all the different, you know, people have come together to make this wonderful country. See? One stitch at a time. Over 200 years. 200 plus years, right? All the different colors and they come together. And what a beautiful thing is made from all of that. Look at that. If one stitch were missing from this thing, whole thing would fall apart. Isn't that something? And now it's, you know, provides warmth. It's useful. It's a thing to behold. It's beautiful. Hmm. Got me thinking. I can see the fireworks from my town on my back deck. It's the 4th of July. Have something good to eat, something nice to look at, some food for thought, hot dog, something good to drink, American food, <laughs> or not, or whatever. And uh, watch some fireworks, whatever, or not. <laughs> and that's American too. But uh, I'm proud to be an American, and uh, I'm proud to be part of this crazy quilt, this big old wonderful country. <laughs> so that's my reflection. You have a wonderful 4th of July. If you're watching this, hence, um, hope you have a great celebration, a great summer. And I'm sure you have your own stories about 4th of July growing up. It's a good day to think about that. Freedom. Family celebrating country. What does it mean to you? See you next time. Bye.